hello guys welcome to debbie's kitchen in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this delicious moimoi so guys if you want to know how i made this moimoi watch till the end This is the brand of beans I'll be using for this moi moi black eye beans Asia's finest food yeah so I will start by soaking my beans this is the beans and the beans have been soaking for over 30 minutes after 30 minutes I went ahead and Pour the beans inside my blender and started blending it mind you this is to peel the pack of the beans because this brand of beans is very tough removing the back is very difficult so by using the blender it helps to remove the back easily so if you're blending you have to be careful not to blend it so much as you can see this is what it looks like after blending it this is the easiest way to remove the back of beans so i went ahead and rubbed it a little bit just to remove the remaining back of the ones that the blender didn't peel out just to help peel it out completely i rubbed it gently after rubbing it gently for a few minutes i went ahead and poured water into the beans i poured enough water inside the beans so as to enable the chaps to float on top you know i turned it to help the chaps float on top then i went ahead and poured out the chaps the chaps that are floating on top gently poured it out and as you can see some beans also poured inside the, the sieve so I went ahead and picked out the beans that poured inside the, the sieve after that I discard the chaffs and then came back and rubbed the pins gently once again so as to remove the remaining chaffs after which i poured water inside the beans again and sieved out the chaffs on top this is just the easiest way for you to wash your beans I kept doing that until the back of the beans is well removed and I have a finer beans, beans without the back. <laughs> I don't even know how to put it what am i saying <laughs> oh my god so that is the easiest way because peeling the back of beans can be really stressful honestly but with this method i think is easier so guys this is the final look of my beans now as you can see it's very neat and 
I'll be using three sweet peppers, one scotch bonnet pepper, one bell pepper, my seasoning cube, salt, crayfish, my vegetable oil, and be preparing this my mind. So I will start by chopping the bell pepper and the sweet pepper to help my blender. So I went ahead and poured the beans, a little of the beans and a little bell pepper and um, onion. I forgot to show onion <laughs> earlier on. So I added onion and as you can see I'm blending it. I blended them in badges so as to get a very smooth paste. Because if I put everything together, you know, if I blend everything, it might not give me a smooth paste. And I need a very smooth paste for my moi moi. One good thing about adding bell peppers or sweet peppers to moi moi is to give it a nice color yeah this is the last batch guys so i added everything into the last batch the remaining ingredients my salt crayfish and seasoning cubes i added it and blended everything up together then as you can see i poured it in a bowl i went ahead and also poured this last one Put it into a bowl as you can see this is the bowl this is the bowl of goodness yeah <laughs> in this bowl everything is inside the bell peppers the chopped bell peppers my seasoning cubes everything so i went ahead and added my vegetable oil yeah i added the vegetable oil mixed everything up properly you make sure you mix everything up properly so i mixed everything up as you can see my plate <laughs> guys this plate <laughs> they are ice cream plate to so galato yeah you can ask dj copy <laughs> this is the power of galato if you don't know as dj copy <laughs> so guys this is ice cream plate the ice cream will leak during summer so i saved the plate washed it up and stored it for my mommy so guys i tested for salt and everything was okay no need of adding salt again no need of adding seasoning cubes everything was okay so I went ahead and put the moi moi paste, a bean paste <laughs> inside the plate as you can see. When putting it, you don't have to fill it up so much because most times beans rises, you know. When you put it, you leave a space in case when it rises, it will have space, you know, to rise up a little i hope i'm making sense anyways so guys this is the last word in the bowl so i went ahead and um make sure i add it up <laughs> on those that i feel that are small you know just to make everything to be equal yeah that's what i adhered so guys you can save us save up a bit store your moi moi plate your sorry your ice cream plates for your moi moi <laughs> yeah so guys i also after putting everything up i used my spoon you know to turn it to mix it properly so as to mix everything properly 
Now I went ahead and covered the top. Yeah. Covered everything up. As you can see. After covering everything up, I went over to my pot and used my bamboo stick. This bamboo stick is my suya stick anyways. <laughs> but that's the only thing I have because I don't have any other thing that I can use and place inside the pot. You know, this... Uh, method at this stage is very important because that is to make your moi moi plate or whatever you are using you can use plates you can use foil you can use plastic film anything you are using to put your moi moi not to stick on the pot so that is why I used my bamboo stick then i covered it up and placed it on the fire i allowed it to boil so after boiling as you can see i went ahead and placed my plate of moi moi inside the pot you know moi moi needs steam to cook so you don't have to put much water inside the pot you add just a little water and then make sure you monitor it <laughs> so as to be adding little water you know when the one that you added dries up so that is what I did here after placing it I went ahead and covered it up and if you are cooking mama make sure you cover your pot tightly make sure you cover it tightly so the water i poured earlier on have dried up so i came and added another water as you can see as you're adding it make sure you add it at the edge you know you don't just pour it anyhow you just pour it gently at the edge so after i came back after 45 minutes and checked my one way and it has cooked guys guys here is my hot moi moi my my <laughs> guys my moi moi is ready and moi moi you can have it with whatever you want you can have it with almost everything bread rice pap gari when i mean gari not swallow <laughs> you know if you're nigerian you will definitely understand you know so this is my mom boy is ready it's not good to eat my mom while it's hot you have to allow it to cool down a little bit and then you relax well and enjoy your moment i actually don't like adding um any other thing to my moment like eggs um fish People usually add all those things, but I don't really like it because my mind is protein, so no need of adding additional protein. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and share if you love this. Bye bye.